Hey guys, how you doing? This is Jonathan. Um, this short video is about glycogen, your glycogen stores. I'm going to make it really simple and short. Um, if you want more information, just Google it. Glycogen stores really is the, where your body holds energy for your muscles. You know, Every time you lift a weight, every time you go running or you do any you know, muscular activities that requires your muscles, your body uses the energy stored in your glycogen. Your gly we just call them glycogen stores in the bodybuilding world. You'll see that a lot in a lot of articles. Um, they're all over your muscles, you know, your biceps, triceps, chest, whatever. Now, um, they're your primary source of energy when your body uses your muscles for, you know, weightlifting exercises, also running in some ways. Um, why they're very important is uh, your body must be at full, if not 90 to 95 to 100 percent, you know, full when it comes to glycogen stores before you try to attempt any heavy workout, especially with bodybuilders or weightlifters. If you're trying to put on muscle and you go to the gym with depleted glycogen stores, that's it's really catabolic. You're going to end up losing muscle rather than to build muscle because if your glycogen stores are not full and replenished, your body's going to look for energy in other parts, you know, like your muscles. For example, if you're doing a lot of arms exercises and you don't have a lot of glycogen stores in your arms, your body will look for that energy elsewhere and it won't burn fat at, at first it'll just take it from your other muscles like your legs or your back or wherever or whatever muscles that you're not really using at the moment your body will release cortisol dest destroy those muscles yes destroy those muscles and turn that you know into a, a low low quality form of energy you know for your workout and it's, it's terrible because you can work out for months and lose your results over a short period of time simply because you didn't have enough energy. So remember, before workout, fill your glycogen stores completely. Also, uh, the best way to, f after a workout, after a workout, your glycogen stores are depleted after 45 minutes of heavy lifting and going to failure, your glycogen stores are depleted. And um, that's when your body goes catabolic. That's when your body starts trying to destroy your muscles for energy. That's why after a workout, it's recommended to take um, Fast digesting carbs to replenish those stores. That's the only time I suggest anyone to take fast digesting carbs is after a workout. That's the only time because what happens is you take fast digesting carbs, they digest really fast, they go in your bloodstream really fast, and your body gets an insulin spike. Watch my video on insulin. Your body releases all this insulin to shuttle all those carbs straight to your muscles that are begging for sugar, they're begging for energy. So um, after every workout, every strenuous workout, you want to take fast digesting carbs. Either it's a, it's a shake that has carbs in it, or white rice, sweets. You know, if you're not, if you're ectomorph or mesomorph, you know, you can eat sweets. Endomorph, no, stay away from sweets. Um, yeah, you want to replenish the stores. Now you're thinking, how long does it take to replenish your stores? No, it's not two hours. It's not three hours. It takes about 20 to 24 hours to replenish your glycogen stores. Um, your body replenishes them at about 5%, 6% per hour. So in one hour, you only get back, if you were at 0%, you only get back about 5%. So it takes you about 20 hours, 20 hours to replenish your glycogen stores. That's why it's not recommended to work out two days in a row, you know. When you work out one day, you go to failure, you need at least 20 to 24 hours to replenish those stores before your next workout day. And like you say, it, it's, if you refuse to do that, then your body would just suffer for that because your muscles will suffer. You won't be able to work out as much as you want to, as long as you want to, and your body will break down your other muscles for energy. That's why you would get bigger on one side and smaller on the other side, and then they just keep rotating. Uh, best way to keep your glycogen stores at a minimum high is eating slow digesting carbs, of course. That's the only thing you should be eating. I recommend beans. In all my videos, I'll tell you, beans is the best form of carbs out there because not only is high in fiber, low in calories, but it's high in protein. That's the best of both worlds in one, you know, in one um, food source. Uh, also, yes, remember, after every workout, insulin spike. Insulin spike, meaning you want an insulin spike after every workout. Meaning you want to eat foods that are fast digesting and high in sugar, you know. White rice, pasta, you know. You don't want to eat anything slow digesting after workouts. And if you're endomorph, your body gains, you know, your body's a... Uh, you you build on you put on fat too fat you know too fast. I'll go with some fast digesting carbs, but uh, for everyone else, I suggest you know. For example, after a workout, I, I take a protein shake that comes with carbs in there. Like I don't recommend that for everybody, but it works for me. 
It's Body Fortress Muscle Gainer. It comes with, um, with well, it's, it's a protein shake, but it's also mixed with carbs. So what happens is when you take it, it the protein and the carbs, you, you know, it, it causes an insulin spike, and your insulin just shudders all these things straight to your muscles. And yes, I worked out last night. So for example, in my situation, I worked out yesterday, 45 minutes. Depleted my glycogen stores, of course. Um, I'm drinking a lot of water, obviously. And I'm gonna, you know, just keep eating beans for the next day and a half. You know, so digesting and it's gonna replenish my stores without causing a big insulin spike because I already had my insulin spike after the workout. All right, but anyway, I'm gonna keep it short. Um, ask me more questions. Remember, all my videos is just in response to your questions. Ask me questions. You don't have to subscribe. I don't really don't care. Just ask me questions and I'll look up the information for you. I'll do videos based on, you know, the, you know, the questions you ask. You know, some of you are tired, don't have time to do research. Just message me and I'll just look them up for you. Take care.